Damn you, Mother Nature! It's that time of year, guys, and I'm way past doing an update, so I'm gonna take you inside and show you what's been going on in my garden. It's not pretty. We got some work to do, so hopefully you'll come inside with me and uh, I'll show you what's been going on. Let's get to it. Okay, so I know this looks bad. Well, it's actually pretty bad, but this is what happens when you let aphids sneak in. Um, I tried my hardest to keep them out, but they still got in, and this is what it looks like when they're all over your stuff. Not good. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to prevent this and what I already did in my tent. went by pretty quick for you guys but that was a lot of work um so basically with all these uh i took off i had to visually inspect the plants and um basically just find out what leaves and what parts of the plant were most infected with aphids and i removed them one by one i have a bag full of leaves are going to go out um i'm going to I already treated all of them. Now I stepped it up a little bit. I used a new product. Um, it's just a pure insecticidal soap. So it has the fatty acids um, and that's very good against aphids. Uh, I was using the neem oil with the dish soap. 
few drops of that and uh it just wasn't cutting it i don't know if the neem oil just degraded or whatnot um but it was no longer affecting them the ones that i had in the tent that i completely cut back they were just so overrun with aphids it was unbelievable i mean the whole plants were becoming sticky so these are my babies i can't get rid of these so my only thought was cut back the growth restart hit the restart button and uh at least save them from having the life sucked out of them for right now and uh everybody got a little bit of food now i know what you're probably thinking wow you're adding more you know nitrogen and stuff and aphids love that whatnot uh some of these that are in these big pots have been in the same soil except for this guy but the, those guys back there they've been in the same soil for going on a third season now so their nutrients are definitely depleted so i have to feed them every so often just to keep them up to par so i added more nutrients to those guys back there these guys even this guy because he just you know i i upgraded his pot size but he didn't get a whole lot of new soil so i added some more of that to his pot as well and then all the guys inside the tent that were completely cut back they all get some food too so hopefully that'll kind of boost them get them going it was a well-balanced uh meal it was a good serving of nitrogen potassium um and a lot of other stuff you know that they need uh so i'm just exhausted so anyway this is what i have to do i mean when you get aphids indoors there's no natural predators you have nothing to fight them back now, if this was spring or summer, I'd have plenty of insects at my disposal. Like, we usually have a good, a healthy population of, like, wasps that love to feed on aphids. Uh, we have ladybugs. We have praying mantises. Uh, we have all kinds of insects that like to feed on them. But this time of year, especially inside, there's nothing down here to fight them back. So they're going to take over. Uh, so I got to do what I got to do. If I can't completely stop them by doing this, like if they actually somehow still survive, uh, the only plan is get them through winter because then I could take them outside, put them in the tent and just unleash lace wings and ladybugs and maybe some like parasitic wasps or something. I don't know. I'm still debating on what I'm going to pick, but get them through the winter, get them outside, unleash bugs. And they should take care of the problem. They should pretty much eliminate them. Ladybugs are voracious. Uh, even if they're, you know, before they're ladybugs, when they're the little weird looking things, yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen them. I'll put a picture up here of what they look like. But before they're actually ladybugs, they're still feeding on the aphids. And then when they turn into ladybugs, they're still feeding on the aphids. And lace wings are the same deal. They look like little alligators. They just walk around and eat all the aphids and then they grow wings and they fly around and eat aphids. And they make more lace wings and just keep feeding on aphids. So that should solve my problem. You know, down, like I said, down here, all I can do is, you know, hit them with stuff. And I'm indoors too, so I can't hit them with hard stuff. I don't want to hit them with like poison or anything, especially in my basement where the, the ventilation can take that stuff up into the house. That's not a good idea. So this new insecticidal soap should do the trick. I'll put a picture up of what I'm using, what it looks like. And uh, I'm really hoping that the ones that I cut back, they come back again. So I've got that going on. So guys, if you had any issues bringing them in, um, let me know what you're doing. I think that if you only brought a couple plants in and you followed what I did, you'd be okay. But the fact that I brought so many plants in uh, at once, especially this large, um, and as it was getting dark by the time I was actually treating them and cleaning them and all that, I could have missed something. And it didn't take very long. It only took about a month, and then they, they showed up and just started wreaking havoc on all my plants. So actually, let me grab the camera. <laughs> Hang on. So... I actually already see some, oh, let me take you in here. This is my custom built tent. If you guys ever wondered 
I built this myself. Uh, this is this is all stuff I found in the heating and insulation bleh, heating and insulation aisle at like your local Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, yeah, right there, we've already got some new growth coming back, and I just cut these back. So, you know, pepper plants are insane. They will just keep coming back <laughs> as long as you take care of them. Now, even with all those aphids. I doubt they would have killed these, but they were just, it was so unbearable to look at them. All those white castings that you typically find on top of the leaves, uh, they were just everywhere. I mean, and there was just like sap, the honeydew from all the bite wounds just leaking everywhere. So I was like, you know what, that's enough. I gotta protect them. And then there's my, there's plant one of the overwinter. He was getting rocked. Not only that, he got knocked over and I didn't realize that it fell, he fell off a table and lost half his soil. So he wasn't doing well to begin with and then the aphids got to him. And then uh, plant two, or actually plant three I believe, is right here. And he was also getting hit with aphids. So it was a good idea to chop him back. You can actually see the stuff still. See those white things? If you ever see those, there's most likely aphids, and they're still there. I'm gonna take that leaf off. I'll show you guys. Hold on. Sam, unbelievable. I'm gonna double check this plant, make sure I got everything. I'm pretty sure I got the other ones. But you need to treat them and you need to hit everything or they're gonna survive. I think I actually have two types of aphids on here. Yep, there's one moving right there. All right, so I'm gonna hit this plant again for sure. Let me flip back to me. All right, so I, I hit them a little bit more. The plan is, Basically, I'm going to um, I'm going to hit them now, and then I'm going to hit them again in five days, and then I'm going to hit them again in five days, and then I'm going to hit them again in five days. I'm just going to keep hitting them until they go away. So, hopefully, it kills them. You know, and if I got to cut them back even more, I got to do what I got to do. These are my these are my babies, like I said. Last year it was fungus gnats. Now I'm dealing with aphids. It's just one of those things, man. And these aphids, they seem to become resistant to certain things, so I had to try something new to hit them with. Anyway, I'm pretty certain the ones in the tent are completely clean because I actually took them outside and wiped, put a few uh, drops of soap and water, wiped every plant down replaced the top soil gave nutrients really did a good job on those guys these guys I'm gonna see how well this stuff works if we're having the same issue where they just won't disappear uh, I gotta take them out and do the same thing because I already did it to those and I don't want to keep doing this I'm gonna show you the other plants upstairs that would be plant number two the window plant and everything else I have up there All right, so plant number two also got hit with aphids up here you can see the little marks there. He's got a couple little ones. Now him, I'm also gonna experiment, uh, experiment with. I'm not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna cut him back that much. I'm gonna try this new stuff. I haven't used it on him yet. I will hit him. Lemon tree, I don't know if I showed you this. Lemon tree is doing excellent. Aphids do not seem interested in him one bit. He was right next to all the pepper plants. They don't care about him. And then um, Peach Reaper right here. He also... Try to zoom in here. He also is getting hit by aphids. You can see them. Little bastards. crush them they love new growth 
That's the one thing I've noticed. I mean, I've been dealing with them. I'm looking at the, like the older leaves are not as bad. They they go right after the new stuff. And um, more right here. Yeah, this is gonna get treated as well. But they love the new stuff. And they love new branches. Anything like any like new branches that form, they're all over it because it's easy to penetrate, and that's what they're going to go after. It's got the you know the best juices, I guess, that they're after. They're not going to be getting through bark. <laughs> they want the fresh young stuff. Sorry. And then over here is my lovely, beautiful plant. This is my aloe vera, and. Um, He's doing great. All righty, mustache family. As you can see, there is no longer light. That about wraps this up, what I did downstairs. Uh, keep your eyes open for my new uh, seed selection video, which will be coming out shortly after this one. I'll be going over all the seeds I'm using this season. Uh, we're shooting for 150 to 200 pepper plants again this year. Uh, and with 14 overwinters, uh, that should be a huge, huge haul of peppers this season uh, plenty of plans of stuff to do with them new sauces new powders new challenges <sighs> guys as usual have a great day have a great night whatever time it is have a great one i'm gonna tell you that i love you 100 times a day I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you my